Good day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my YouTube videos. Here we go! Our topic today is all about multiplying mixed numbers. I will give you class the quickest way on how to solve these three problems. Okay, first we are going to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. The question here, Chiram, by how? How to do that? Sample, I'm going to give you the right steps or the right procedures on how to solve that. Let's see and watch and you have to learn a lot from my teacher. Here we go. First, I'm going to multiply the first denominator of the first fractions, which is 5, then multiply to the whole number, which is 2. Then I put here, here a multiplication symbol. I'm going to multiply 5 times 2. 5 times 2. The answer is 10. Plus 3. I'm going to write her class. Okay, let's follow. Okay, 2 times 5, 10. Plus 3. Remember, this is 3. Okay, the answer is 13. We're going to write 5. Okay, next, the second fraction, we are going to multiply the denominator, which is 2, multiplied to 5, that's 10, plus 1, 11. So we're going to write here, 11 over 2. We're going to write here, class, we have here, the first mixed numbers, the second mixed number, okay, we are already converted to what we called improper fraction. I'm going to write here 13 over 5 times 11 over 2. Okay? The next thing we do is we're going to multiply both numerators to numerators and denominators to denominators. Here we go, by outer, I'm going to show you how to multiply 13 and 11. 13 times 11, step by step class. 3 times 1, I'm going to write here 3. 1 times 1, I'm going to write 1. 1 times 3, I'm going to break down 3 here, then 1. So we have the result. 143 we're going to write here 143 over we're going to multiply 5 times 2 the answer is 10 so we have here is it done Chiram? no we're not yet done we are going to simplify or we're going to reduce it to lowest term if it is necessary but actually, class, we're going to reduce this because 143 over 10 is improper fractions. So we're going to solve it so that the result will become a mixed number. I'm going to show you. Let's follow. 143. 143 is our dividend. Our divisor is 10. So class, step by step, 14. We divide to 10. We have 1. 1, next step, after divide, multiply. 1 times 10, we're going to write here 10. Next operation is we're going to subtract 4 minus 0. So 4 is, we are going to bring it down here, 4. So 1 minus 1, it's still 0, so we're going to write it x. So no need to write 0. So next, next thing is we're going to bring down 3. Next is 43. We're going to divide 43 to 10. How many 10 and 43? So we have 4. I'm right. So next, 4 times 10. The answer is 40. Okay? Try to follow class. Students, especially grade 6. So we have, I put a subtraction sign. 3 minus 0. So I'll bring it down 3. Nothing happened. 4 minus 4. And put it x. So now, our quotient is 14. So our remainder 3. Remainder po to class, ha? Remain there. Okay. So 10 is our, what we call divisor. That is part of division. So we have remainder. We have the quotient. 
Okay, so that you will know, class, what are the parts of division. Is it clear? Here we go. So, chair, paano na po to? How? How we are going to write our final answer? Simply po, 14 is our quotient, becomes whole number. Remainder 3 becomes numerator. And our divisor is 10, becomes denominator class. So, our final answer is 14 and 3, 10. This will be our final answer for number 1 problem, which is 2 and 3 fifth times 5 and 1 half. Okay? The next is, we have uh, choose it either 2 or 3. So, we can choose it either 2 or 3. So, I'm going to proceed to number 2. Okay? We're going to direct class. So, again, I'm going to see it. Okay? Feel to remember, we are going to convert here. Because this will be what we call mixed number. I'm going to write MN. Mixed number, we are going to com convert mixed number to improper fraction. So simply po, we multiply the first denominator 4 to whole number 8. Multiply then plus to our numerator. So first here, 4 times 8. So I'm going to write here, 4 times 8. So the right is... 32 plus 1 here class the numerator so see 33 so I'm going to write here 33 then we have to copy the denominator of the first fraction yeah and then don't forget to write the multiplication symbol to avoid confusing next is second denominator which is 2 and all her number is 4 we multiply that and then plus for our second fraction numerator which is 1 okay it's clear class we're going to multiply 2 times 4 8 plus 1 it's 9 so we're going to write here 9 then the denominator 2 and the class okay next thing we do simply it's a very quickest way for 33 times 9 and 4 times 2 which is numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator here we go we're going to solve it 33 times 9 9 times 3 class 27 please follow 2 regroup 2 here 3 times 9 that's 27 plus 2 okay that's 297 class so we're going to write here two nine seven let us check again three times nine 27 so seven we group two the next thing with those three times nine that is 27 plus two that is 29 297 our final answer for the first and second fraction which is numerator 33 and nine so next is first fraction and denominator rather four multiplied to two so we have here 8 yeah, and class 297 over 8 actually we're not yet done because we're going to simplify this one it is improper fraction so we're going to write it here this side we have 297 our <coughs> excuse me dividend our divisor is 8 2 this is 2 class okay this is number 2 we are going to divide 29 to 8. Okay? How many 8 and 29? Class, we have to think how many 8 and 29. So, we're going to write here. 3. Multiplication symbol. 3 times 8. I'm going to write here, class. Huh? 4. That's 24. Next, 9. Subtract to 4. I'm going to write here 5. Then, I put x just because x is the value of zero this is two minus two next i'll bring down seven so that is 57 we are going to divide to eight how many eight and 57 class okay we have seven seven times eight we have 56 i'm right class next we're going to subtract seven to six we have one 5 minus 5 is sense it is 0. I'm going to put an X here. So 1 is our remainder. Okay.
okay? 37 is our quotient. 8 is our divisor. <laughs> We're going to write here. 37, 1, 8. This will be our final answer for number 2. Again, class, in solving this, mix numbers so that you can unlock the different problems here. So, for example, if your teachers will give you a short quiz regarding this topic about multiplying mixed number. This is what we call the quickest way that I'm going to teach with you. So again, from mixed number, you're going to convert mixed number to improper fraction. Second, you're going to multiply uh, what we call the denominator to whole number. Multiply that, okay? And then plus the numerator, okay? So that the result will become mixed number. Then right after a mixed number, you are going to multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. You have to continue class. You are going to write the, the, number, the answer either and then you are going to do divide to simplify your answers. Hope this video guys will help you a lot regarding grade 6. To all graders, hope did you understand our topic today and welcome again to Ram's tutorial. If you have... Uh, any suggestion just comment below and I will answer it all your questions as soon as possible as much as possible rather once again so long class and see you on my next videos bye bye thanks for watching